So boys, a lot of you that are subscribed to me already know this, but I uploaded the past 35 days in a row, every single day, non non-stop, no days off. And I stopped, I haven't uploaded for the past five days. And I think it's kind of because I got burnt out. In order for me to build this channel into one big family, I know that I need to be as transparent as I possibly can. I need to show you guys all of the highs, all of the lows, literally just, just the whole spectrum. Basically, no bullshit, no nothing, no, no hiding, nothing, no secrets. It's just everything I'm showing you on this channel. Any businesses that I build, anything that I do, I want to show you guys. All the stuff with my theme pages, literally everything, just no filter. With this YouTube, I set a goal to upload 100 days in a row, right? 100 days every single day, Not no shorts either because shorts are not hard to make. You can make shorts every day, no excuse really. But long form content actually like, Every video, if you look on my channel, every video that I upload is pretty much over 10 minutes, over 15 minutes. And to make those videos, it doesn't take two minutes. Like a shorts video is 60 seconds. So it's just loads of tiny little clips stuck to get like put edited together. To make a long form video, I don't think people understand the amount of time. Even if it looks like on the video, there's very minimal editing. For example, if my video is 15 minutes long, it didn't take me 15 minutes to record that video. It took me, 40 minutes, 45 minutes to record the video. Then it took me an hour and a half to edit it, maybe two hours sometimes even. And then it takes me 30 minutes to do the thumbnail and then actually uploading it. The whole entire process, you're looking at four to five hours every single day. It doesn't matter how I feel. And you've got to bear in mind, I don't make any money from YouTube. I've got like 350 subscribers. I don't make any money from YouTube. It's not a, it's not a, a business for me at the moment, a business that's generating cash flow. I've got my theme page businesses, my theme page business that I need to cater to and I need to be creating content and running promotions, working with, with, with marketing guys, with labels and all that kind of stuff. I've still got to do that. I've still got to go to the gym. I've still got to try to look after my health. I've still got a relationship that I've got to tend to. And then that's, that's just not including all of the other little things in your life as well. So what ended up happening was I was spending all of this time so obsessed uploading every single day that the rest of my life started to fall behind. I'm here preaching you guys. I'm here preaching to all of you guys, eat healthy, you know, don't eat processed food, make sure you're going to the gym, make sure you meditate, do all of these things. I was not for the past month, I have slacked so much on doing those things. Admittedly, I was on holiday a couple of weeks ago and obviously when you're on holiday, you're not really operating at 100% in terms of your diet and your working out and stuff because you don't have access to the same things that you have access to when you're home. I had to park up real quick because I was actually finding it hard to record whilst I'm driving, like my eyes, should I have my eyes on the road or the, well, no, I shouldn't have my eyes on a camera. I should have my eyes on the road. So I had to pull up basically, I had to pull up and just, um, just speak here like this. So continuing what I was speaking about before, when I got back from my holiday, I kid you not, right? I've had, I was having one meal a day and that meal was usually like McDonald's or something. And fuck, like, it sounds so bad, but I was just literally, I would literally just eat McDonald's. I'd wake up in the morning, I wouldn't eat anything because I was so obsessed with figuring out the YouTube stuff and trying to script a video and all of these things that I just didn't eat any food. And I also didn't go to the gym either because I had that rash on the back of my neck. I wasn't really going to the gym either. So it was like a, it was like a domino effect going downwards, but I was still banging out all of my content here. So yeah, I wouldn't eat breakfast or nothing. I wouldn't eat lunch. Then it would get to about five or 6 p.m. Because my sleep was also shit as well because I was spending so long doing all the editing and everything, I'd be going to sleep at like 3 a.m doing these exact same things that I would preach to you guys not to do. So here it shows that not everyone is perfect and we have these phases in our life where everything just seems extremely imbalanced because on the, f on the face of it, you guys might think I was crushing it because I was posting videos every single day for 35 days in a row. You were like, oh, Nathan's channel is like growing. I literally went from zero to 350 subscribers in, one, in the first month, like at zero videos on the channel, no promoting it anywhere else, just from scratch. 350 in the first... <coughs> 350 in the first month, right? But behind all of that, it, there was so much imbalance. I do believe to reach equilibrium, AKA to reach balance in your life as a whole, you do need to have states or stages in your life where you do have some imbalance. So it's, it's very unrealistic for you to be able to eat healthy, be going to the gym five, six days a week, working on your business like 12 hours a day, go, like spending time in nature and doing all of these things together all at once, at 100% capacity, it's pretty unrealistic. 
And when I go through these phases, it kind of makes me realize that in order for me to achieve anything or in order for us to achieve anything in our lives, we have to have one or two priorities. We can't have like five different priorities because what I was trying to do before was, okay, I'm going to grow my YouTube. I'm going to run my theme page business. I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to eat healthy and I'm going to spend time with my girlfriend every day and I'm going to go for walks and I'm going to spend time in nature. I'm going to do all of these things and meditate everything. How the hell are you meant to do every single thing every single day? So what we kind of need to do, I guess, and what I've learned from this is to sort of peel back, learn to peel back on other things. So I bought this program last year, this fitness workout program, and it's three, it's only three days a week. So it's basically working towards your dream physique, but only exercising three, only working out, like actually lifting weights three days a week. And the diet, the philosophy of the diet and stuff is very, it's geared towards people that are entrepreneurs and people that, you know, work for themselves and stuff and maybe don't have as much time to go and live in the gym basically because when I was like living in the gym aka going to the gym six days a week I wasn't I wasn't able to do YouTube because my mind was so focused and my, my time was so much consumed on the gym and then eating if you're trying to eat like 3,000 to 3,500 calories a day do you know how time consuming that is to make the foods to cook the foods to eat the food and then once you've eaten the food you feel knackered you feel so your body everything just feels destroyed because you're beating your body down so much so that this muscle can be built as fast as possible. But that's not the route that I wanna go down now. I would prefer to gain lean muscle slowly over a long period of time whilst I'm building my businesses because my priority right now in my life is to build my businesses. Because when I was 20 years old, I was able to make 10,000 a month. I was making eight to 10,000 pounds a month when I was 20 years old and I lost it all, not all of it, but my income went, got like slashed in half pretty much because I got complacent. I stopped doing the things that got me to where I got to so now I'm in the process of building my income back up so I sort of have to go back to my roots I have to pretty much go back to what I was doing four or five years ago in order to get back to where I was and, and and continue from there because if I carried on on that trajectory that I was there I'd probably be a millionaire right now but I'm not because I got complacent I started to just chill and just not do anything and this is a lesson that you you guys can take as well because a lot of you might feel like you've not really had much success in your life yet but there will reach a point if you stay on this self-development journey there will reach a point where you do obtain some kind of success and once you get that success if you stop you are going to lose everything you're going to lose all of it i was on my way to losing absolutely everything and what was the biggest kick up the ass for me was i got to a point where i couldn't even pay my taxes because i had used so much of my money obviously a lot of the reasons why i got to that point was you know uh, stuff with family and things like that i had to like basically get a lot of people out the shit pretty much and use a lot of my money to get them out of the shit. And yeah, so now I've had to literally set up a payment plan for my taxes in order to pay it monthly in monthly installments so that I can pay it all off basically. And then that's gonna put me behind for next year. So that was sort of a kick up the ass for me because I'm like, I need to make money now because I need to pay off this tax. I wanna get my own place with my girlfriend. I wanna move out because then that's gonna help me with improving my content and just improving my overall life happiness because I've got loads of siblings at home and stuff, that's why. I don't record at home because I've got such a noisy house. So I sit in my car to record like this. Yesterday and the day before, I was kind of feeling really like down and depressed about it all. Just feeling like I'm, tr I'm trying to build myself back up, but I just keep getting knocked down. Like 35 days in a row of YouTube. I was feeling like I was feeling like I was flying high with this shit, but I was just ignoring the other things because my diet was crap. So what ends up happening if your diet's terrible, you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to sustain making all those videos because you're feeding yourself crap and if you are what you eat if you eat crap then you're going to be crap you're going to feel like crap so i had to spend a day or two just trying to figure out a way that i can start eating healthy again just cut out all the processed food like today i haven't eaten any processed foods which is great for me and i'm going to continue this for as long as i can and i actually wrote a script for a video to record today and i sat down in my car ready to record the video five minutes in i was just like i can't do it I can't concentrate because my sleep schedule has been so shit as well that I can't do it. And I just felt like I couldn't. But now what I'm doing instead is like, I thought, do you know what? How about I just get on the camera and just tell people what's been going on? Because as I said before, I want this channel to just be no bullshit, no filter, 100% transparent, showing you the highs, the lows, everything. Because that's how we build a family with this channel. That's how we build like our, our, our Discord community. That's how we build the best community possible by just being 100% transparent with everyone. Quick plug, that's the free Discord. The link's in the description. Everyone on there is just on their own self-development. I don't like to call it self-improvement, really. 
everyone's on their self-development journey together and just trying to level up, keep each other accountable. We've actually already got quite a few people in that Discord. It's starting to get a little bit more active as we've got more and more people in there. So if you do want to join that and join me on my journey, we can all just level up together, get to where we need to get to in life, basically, because it's go time, man. It don't matter how old you are. You could be 13, 14, 15, 20, 25. It doesn't matter. We've got all different ages in there. Myself, I'm 23, so I've got some things that I can teach you guys, but also we can keep each other accountable and level up together as well and get to where we need to get to together as a family. So I'm gonna start eating healthier. Well, not I'm gonna start, I have started to eat healthier already for the past couple of days. I've cut out the fast food. I'm literally not eating no more fast food, no more. It's such a, it's a problem that I've always had, fast food addiction, man. It's, it's like my kryptonite, especially when you get older and you start driving, it's like you haven't got anything to eat and it's midnight. Nowhere's open, everywhere's closed. You haven't got any food in the cupboards that you want to eat. Oh, let's go to McDonald's. So I'm completely cutting that out now. I'm telling you now, no more McDonald's for, I don't even know, until maybe until I, uh, until I relapse or some shit, I don't know, but no time soon. I'm telling you, at least for the next month, two months, three months, it's not happening. I'm back in the gym now, only three days a week, but that's so I can focus more on this YouTube stuff. And I want to have a big focus on improving my sleep patterns, man. Not going to sleep so late. Because with my theme page, 60 Seconds of Rap, a lot of the people that I deal with and talk to are based in America. So they're five hours behind if they're in New York, eight hours behind if they're on the, uh, if they're on the West Coast. Yeah. So sometimes that means I'm awake till 2 a.m. doing promos. But I don't need to be. I let that happen. So I need to just get myself to sleep by... 1am latest so that I can wake up at like 8am and be fully rested, 8am, 9am, be fully rested so that I can just conquer the day, write my scripts, get my stuff ready for YouTube and get this good content out there, man. So yeah, I think the bottom line of what I spoke to you boys about today, right, is there does need to be some, some kind of imbalance in your life to create balance in the long term and for you to achieve maybe financial success, you are going to have to sacrifice a little bit of the fitness goals, a little bit of the health goals and whatnot, but that doesn't mean you need to completely trash it because that's what I was doing. I was trashing my fitness goals, I was trashing my health goals in order for me to just try to grow this grow this new little business that I'm, that I'm pursuing right now, right? So there is gonna need to be some imbalance, but you don't need to trash it. You just need to do the, 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 the maintenance, the bare minimum to keep a good baseline of health because the health, the health and the eating healthy food is what's gonna push you and it's gonna, it's gonna cause you to be able to operate at a much higher level than not eating healthy basically you can operate at a way higher level if you eat healthy foods compared to if you're just eating loads of crap processed foods all day if you're eating pot noodles and you're eating mcdonald's and you're eating kfc and burgers and all this greasy fried food you're not going to be able to operate at a high level and trust me firsthand i can tell you this so make sure you boys keep looking after yourself make sure you stay on your grind you keep hustling you don't give up if you get knocked down get your ass back up get back up stay on the grind man Keep going, keep pushing, don't fucking stop. Because the moment you stop is the moment you start to digress. Because at least if you're doing the bare minimum, you're going like this. If you stop doing these things that have got you to where you are right now, you're gonna lose it all. Because that's what happened, that's what started to happen to me. And you don't want that. So, as I said, keep pushing, keep grinding, stay focused on yourself, look after yourself, look after your health, look after your minds, man. Love you guys, I'm out.